You want to use PLR ebooks but you don't know how to customize them? This video is just for you. Here I will show you step by step how you can easily edit and rebrand PLR ebooks like a pro. Changing the cover, adding your credentials, updating the fonts and much more. Plus this will be a mini Microsoft Word tutorial so you will learn how to edit ebooks quickly and efficiently. Ready to transform PLR content into your own? Let's dive in. So first things first, we need an ebook to rebrand and for that I always recommend PLR Me. These guys provide truly high quality products, they have entire team of professional writers behind it, so their content is really on point. Ebooks include plenty of pages, everything's properly formatted, so you don't have to spend too much time editing them. If you want to get one free ebook from PLR Me, I have a special link in my description which will give you 10 free credits and with that you can get one ebook completely for free. So make sure to check that out. So let's head over here to products and we select reports and ebooks. Here we are in the ebook library of PLR Me. We can see we have over 700 results, so plenty of options for us to choose from. Some of these are bundles and others are individual ebooks. We can also see that some of the ebooks cost 15 credits while others cost 10 credits. So I'm assuming you're using my link to get 10 free credits and to download an ebook for free, we should just adjust the pricing. So let's move the slider to 10 credits. And now we have 146 ebooks that we can download for free and work with. Okay, so I'm going to go for this one, boost your business through thought leadership. I'm going to open this up. Here we are, we can see that our ebook has 41 page and we have files included such as pages, PDF, document, PNG and GPG. Document is the one we need. We're going to edit this ebook using Word document. If you don't have Word installed in your computer, you can also edit the ebook using Google Docs. However, Google Docs does not provide as many editing options like Word does. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, if you don't have Word, you can also do that in Google Docs. Here we can preview our ebook. And yeah, let's go ahead and download it. So I downloaded a zip file and now we have several folders available like Apple Pages, PDF, Source File, Web Cover Graphics and Word Document. We are going to edit the Word document, so let's open this up. And before we touch that, it's a good practice to, to make a copy, okay? So I'm going to Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, make a copy and I'm going to edit the copy. Open this up. So here it is, our ebook. And the first thing I'm going to do, if you see this screen of three pages in the same row, I'm going to change that to one page per window. So for that, we hit view, we go to zoom, and we do whole page. Now it is much more convenient and we can preview what we have. So we have a disclaimer, you can delete that or edit it if you like. If you want to delete this page, you just simply highlight everything and click backspace, so it's gone. Down below we have a table of contents, so these are the clickable elements. Once you export this as the PDF, user will be able to click on each section name and he will be directed to appropriate section. So that's really convenient and that's the reason why I like PLR Me ebooks. They're really nicely formatted, everything's like pretty much done for you, okay? And yeah, we can change all of these contents if you like, we can change the styling, we can change the fonts, we can replace these images. Oh, we have some nice statistics here as well. And yeah, everything looks pretty neat and clean. Okay, so let's start with the cover. And here I see we have our title cropped. So this is pretty common. It depends on which version of Word you use. You may run into some formatting issues, but that's really easy to fix. So we highlight that. Click on line and paragraph spacing, line spacing options. And we just increase that number to maybe 0.8. Okay, so that's much better. We have two text boxes here, one at the top and one at the bottom. We can freely move these as we like. And what I'm going to do, I'm not really happy with this cover image, so I'm going to change that. For this, I'm going to head over to one of the copyright free image sites like pixabay.com. You can also use websites like unsplash.com or pexels. I'm going to type something like leader. And since we are working with vertical image here, we have to choose the orientation to be vertical. And now I'm going to browse the image and find the one I like for our ebook. Oh, this line looks great. Looks like a real leader. We hit download and I'm going to choose this site. This is going to be enough resolution for us. So the easiest way to change the cover image is to right click, change picture, this device, and we select our new image of the line. 
here it is the next thing i'm going to do is to add black overlay on this cover just to make our text look more stand out so for that i'm going to hit insert shapes and i'll do rectangle shape i'm going to drag it all over the cover shape fill i will choose black and to change the opacity i will hit more fill colors and transparency i will set to 70 percent okay so this is pretty nice already and what we have to do we have to move this shape backwards just to bring our text to the front so right click and send it to back and this one send it to back as well okay so now we have nice arrangement the next thing i'm going to do is to add our offer name just underneath the title so just going to move this up a little bit and the easiest way to add the text box is to go to text box draw text box and we just draw this box wherever we like so i'm just going to do here write my name Boolean. change the colors to black actually white sorry and here it is that's our offer name i'm gonna move this somewhere to the center and yeah i'm pretty happy about our cover so far so let's move to the next sections of our ebook here we have another tiny formatting issue we can see that the header of table of contents is in the wrong page and the easiest way to fix that is to add the page break a page break in word document forces the text after it to start in a new page so i'll just select the last bit of the disclaimer page i'll hit insert and page break we can see that table of contents is moved to the appropriate page maybe do this as a center and here it is we have a nice neat section of table of contents down below we can change the fonts if we like and there are a few ways to do that first of all you can select the entire document by hitting ctrl a or if you're on a mac command a this is going to select all the text in our document and in this way you can conveniently change that on the entire document level but this is not ideal if you want to have various font styles across your ebook maybe once one font for your headings other font for your body text so that's not the best way to do that the other way you can highlight multiple sections if you like you just highlight it once then uh, hold ctrl or comment if you're on the mac highlight it here as well so we have two sections highlighted you can highlight another section but this is also again very very time consuming and there's a smarter way to do that and you can do that with font styles so i'm going to uh, i'm going to highlight this bit head over to styles and apply styles and by default it indicates which style name we're using so this is using the heading and we have plenty of styles available so if you want to change only these types of headings which are section headings we just hit modify and here you can choose your favorite color to be applied to all of these types of headers you can set the size and choose the font so let's let's do roboto for example and we can see that all of these section headings have been changed to roboto font okay and the same applies for other parts of your content like if you want to change these type of headings just highlight that you can see it's using heading three elements we cl click modify we do another font like like this one and the same we can do for our body text highlight you can see it's using body modify and do another font like aerial black okay so this is just an example take your time to play around with the styling you like i actually like the styling as is so i'll just keep that for this image if you want to change this image again it's really easy you just right click change the picture this device and upload another image if you like so i'm going to replace that with a businessman image looks good you can move this image freely as you like and the reason why you can move this image so nicely is because of its layout options so if we click this little icon here we can see it's set on top and bottom options and if we set it to in line with text options for example you can see that this image is no longer movable okay so these layout options are extremely important to know when you're working with images in your ebook and let's say you want to add an image onto your book cover like a small logo image this is how you would do i would select the cover image insert pictures this device and the same businessman image and if we choose the same layout options like in the previous section it was top and bottom 
we can see that this image is messing up with our text and we don't want that so the best options for this case would be in front of the text and in this way we can freely move this image wherever we like we can resize it so that is perfect if you want to add your own logo the next thing we can change is our footer text we already have something pre-written here it's our ebook title so if you want to change that you just double click you may want to add your credentials or maybe a link to your website so to do that we just provide a text for a link let's say visit our website for example and you give it a link you have two options you can highlight this and go to insert and link or what i like to do just highlight it and hit Control k and if you're on a mac just do common k okay and here we have to provide our address i'll just do google.com and now this text is turned into a clickable link so now we have our footer text set on every page here let's do another link at the end of our ebook so we do a call to action maybe you're selling a webinar for example we're going to give it a link to a webinar so this is the end of the ebook let's write something join our free webinar on how to become real leader in 30 days we make this bigger highlight it and again you can add a link so this is going to be a call to action at the end of your ebook and one more important thing to mention if you decide to change any of the text in the headers like for example what is real thought leadership you can see that the table of contents text does not change automatically so it's really important to update your table of contents once you finish editing your ebook so highlight right click update the field and update the entire table here it is we can see that this section has been updated so it says what is real thought leadership but what i found is that sometimes when i update the table of contents and i export it as pdf it turns into just regular text without any links so what i actually like to do i like to generate new table of contents so i'll just get rid of this one head over to references table of contents and i'll just add the table of contents this is a little bit too big i want to fit it into the one page so what i'll do i'll just resize it I'll change the fonts to perhaps 10. Fits in perfectly. This page is unnecessary. We delete that. I'll get rid of this one and this one as well. So I think we are pretty much done with our ebook. We're going to go ahead and export as PDF. For this one, we go to File, Save As, This Computer. And when you're exporting, make sure to choose PDF. So here's an exported PDF version of our ebook. We have a nice new cover. We have table of contents with clickable elements. We could have worked on styling this table to make it look nicer, but it does the job. We have learned how you can conveniently style heading text and the body text separately. We also learned how you can easily replace the images. Of course, you can spend more time and give it a read on what this ebook is about. Perhaps you may want to tweak the text a little bit, change it into your own style, or add additional content with your own unique insights. Here we can see we also added clickable footer elements. And down below, we have a nice call to action inviting readers to join our free webinar. So that looks really good. So the last thing we want to do is to make this ebook easily shareable so our clients or customers could easily access it. For that, we need to upload this ebook to one of the online file storing platforms like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. I'll just use Google Drive here. I'll hit new, file upload, locate your ebook, and open. It's uploading now. Seems like it's done. Here it is. I'll double click. And here, what we want to do is to hit share and the general access we make it anyone with the link so whoever gets this link is going to be able to read this ebook so we just copy this link and you can deliver this link straight to your clients and customers so here we have covered how you can easily rebrand plr ebook again if you want to get high quality plr ebook for free i have a special link in the video description which will allow you to do that if you found this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel other than that Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.